We're back in the world, baby. We're doing this again. We're doing the third part because people wanted it. Also, the last uh, Don't Touch Anything video got 4,000 views. Thanks uh, for watching it, everyone. It was fun to make, so we're going to see if the third part is as fun to make as the second and first ones. So I was brainstorming what to do for this part, you know, what's our goal, and I've decided we have to make a renewable food source, which now we have a bucket, so we have water, and um, I want renewable food, like wheat maybe, so we can make bread. And um, I also finally want to actually make a house, like a real house, you know what I'm saying? I did a little bit of off-camera cobblestone mining, so I have a bunch of slabs. And I'm just going to go collect a bunch of trees, and then um, we'll s build the actual house. I'm going to get some sand, too, for glass, because glass is nice. Also, it's really nice. We have this really long pathway now, so we can get stuff very easily. Now I don't have to use some of the wood I collect to turn into more slabs to get more wood. I can just use cobblestone. It's a great system. And my axe already broke. I probably should have thought of that before coming down here. I just realized I turned all my stone into uh, slabs, so I actually have to go back to the cobblestone generator. All right, now let's collect wood for real this time. I don't need birch wood for the house, but I'm just gonna take it just in case, you know. All right, it's getting dark and I think I have enough wood, so I'm gonna go back now, because I do not want to be out when it's dark, because skeletons could give me a lot of trouble. I do want to grab some sand though, because I don't really want to wait till later. Alright, I got 16 sand, that's probably enough. If I need more, I'll get more, but I'm way too scared of the dark. Alright, let's start building up the actual house now. I almost stepped on this leaf, but I didn't place those leaves. So I cannot walk in any of this. Alright, I need to move the infinite water source for the time being, so I'm just gonna stick it right here. And I'll think of somewhere better later, but for now it's going there. Yeah, I didn't get enough glass, so I gotta go collect more. I got the basic frame of the house done though, looks pretty okay. All right, I got half the stack, that's probably enough. All right, now the main part of the house is done. I tried to keep it open so that way you can still overlook all the forests and the mountains and stuff. I also have this nice door, it's pretty cool. And of course the door over here to, to my stuff. Except one thing I noticed is when you go up the staircase, you have to like do weird stuff to get in the house. So I'm actually gonna rebuild the entire staircase and hopefully that will fix the problem. Also, for some reason, I don't have tooltips on. Before I continue, I'm gonna make- Oh, actually, I don't have to make another axe. I have one already. All right, we fixed the spiral staircase, so now when you walk up it, you'll be able to go through the door. Very nice. And I'm gonna put glass here, so that way you can overlook this way, but I don't have any more sand, so I'm gonna go get more. Oh, crap! I touched that! All right, I'm losing a lot of stuff here. Hopefully, I can grab it. And I gotta turn it on, open a land. It ain't a don't touch anything episode without w at least one death. Alright, luckily I have a lot of spare slabs and hopefully the water will keep my stuff from not moving that far. Never mind, my stuff is everywhere. This is less than ideal. Oh, and now it's getting night. Cool, so happy. And now my axe is moving farther away. It just wastes more of my time. Alright, I don't care how much sand I need, I'm just gonna grab tons. And this flowing water might screw me over. Rem remember, I am allowed to touch water. All right, we got another half stack. Let's go. All right, finally, we finished the house for sure this time. And I also added a little bit of roof access, so maybe we can put some stuff up here eventually. Now, if you remember, our second goal on that list was we had to make a renewable food source. But before we do that, I'm gonna go slave at the cobblestone generator. This part about mining cobblestone is how half of your earnings go straight into the lava. All right, now I was getting cobblestone to make walls, you know, cobblestone walls around um, here because I was going to put the farm down there, but I realized um, I should probably use fences because it would fit better with the wood aesthetic I have. So, yep, we're going to do wood instead, but luckily I have wood already, so I can just make some slabs right now. Not some slabs, some fences. All right, and we will sleep before we do anything, of course. We'll take some cobblestone slabs, we'll take that cobblestone we had, we'll take this, we will, um, take our seeds, and, uh, let's go do our thing. I wanna put my farm, like, right here, I was thinking, you know. It's close, uh, to my main base, but I don't wanna put it up there, cause I feel like it would look ugly. So that's why we're putting our farm here instead. I just realized I need dirt, let's go see if I have any dirt. 13 dirt, that's kinda pathetic. Oh, I just realized this spot is literally perfect space for a farm. That's awesome, except we need more dirt, so we're gonna collect more dirt from over here, I guess. This shovel's gotten a lot of work today. It's also bonuses as an opportunity to collect these slabs that are here for some reason. Okay, it wasn't enough, we need more. 
hopefully I got a crafting table right here so I can just make a shovel. All right, dirt has been collected. We can finish the farm for real this time, hopefully. Also, obviously, since I'm the one placing all this dirt, I can walk on it. That's why I'm not just hoeing the ground. I'm gonna place the dirt so that way I can walk on it. Now let's initiate step two. There we go. We have our farm. It's not very big, but it'll work for now. I had to destroy a lot of stuff to make it work because it doesn't really fit that well, but we can rebuild. And I was planning on renovating this area anyway, but I'm not doing it this episode. I don't feel like it. All right, of course we need one thing of water and we need a hoe, which I crafted one all the way in episode one, I think, and I haven't used it. Now I'm finally going to use it. I just realized I can't walk on any of this, so in case I fall in, I'm going to remove kill me now. Actually, it'll happen. All right, luckily that was not the worst spot to die, and hopefully our bucket is still here. Oh, there it is. Thank God. That was an absolute goof, though. I can't believe I died like that. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to fill this all up with cobblestone, and now we can, w we can literally walk everywhere in here. Water right there. Then we're going to hoe it all. Awesome. All right, now it's time for an epic seed collecting montage because we only had one seed. I just realized this is kind of a total waste of slab, so I'm not time lapsing it and I'm also not even going to do it. I think we're just going to let the one we have grow. I just realized killing fish can drop bone meal, I think. So I'm going to kill fish because we can technically swim in water. We got, yeah, we got one bone meal. All right, this plan will work. Oh yeah, this also doubles as collecting food. That's awesome. Oh, the house looks so majestic from a distance. That's a good thumbnail. I think I'll try and get an angle like this for the thumbnail, maybe. All right, yeah, it's getting dark again. We got four bone meal. That's good enough. I don't want to die in here. And we got 22 salmon. That is a lot. We're not going to have to worry about food for a while, which sucks because we literally just built a farm. And now we're not, it's not going to be useful. I just realized I did this whole, the whole time with my bucket in my inventory. That's not a good play because my bucket is the most valuable tool I have right now. Even though technically I don't need it as much, I still like being able to transport water and stuff. You never know, I might use more lava and make my cobblestone generator bigger. It's always a possibility. All right, we'll cook all the salmon, and I'm gonna sleep, and we'll try and grow our crops a little bit. And apparently we got one seed. I don't remember getting that. Must have been during the grass collection. All right, let's try and grow our seeds. Okay, that is all we're able to do. Nice. We got one wheat, though, so I'm not mad. Well... I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. We got a lot done. It was very productive. I'm happy. Join my Discord. Follow my Twitter, too, of course. Um, and a fourth episode will happen if people want it, of course. Just like the other two parts, which happened because people wanted them. Goodbye.